thinking right now that high school is a lot bigger than primary, but that doesn't mean you have to get lost in the crowd. You might have noticed that kids in high school are a lot bigger too. But they'll help you out if you need it. We're in year seven now, but a couple of months ago, we were where you are. Feeling a bit scared. And a bit excited. We want to show you that high school can be really awesome. We'll show you around our school and show you what it has to offer. But all high schools are different, so you have to check out what's on offer at your school. Here's what you'll learn. English, Maths, Science, Human Society and its Environment, Creative Arts, Languages, Technological and Applied Studies, and Personal Development, Health and Physical Education. You all know about English and Maths, but science now means science labs, protective gear and cool experiments. In Years 7 and 8, you study History and Geography in HSIE. Creative Arts includes Music, Dance, Drama, Visual Arts, Visual Design, Photographic and Digital Media. Languages are heaps of fun and you might get to travel overseas. Or exchange students might come to you. Technological and applied studies, which we call TAS, could include design and technology, food technology, industrial technology, information software, textiles, agricultural technology and woodwork. PDHPE is personal development, health and physical education. We change into our sports uniform for this. Sport is different in every high school, but you will get some really cool choices with whatever you like doing. You'll usually have a different teacher for each subject and one for roll call as well. Justin? Here. You carry your bags to classes with you. Most schools also have lockers or other places where you can store things. Classes run for about 45 minutes and are called periods. Sometimes you have double periods too, so you can really get stuck into something. Year 7 and 8 are introductions to high school subjects, so you can really get a taste of everything. That's my cupcake. I made that. What would you do that for? Year 7 and 8 really matter. You develop new skills and ways of thinking that set you up for the rest of your high school years. In Year 8, you choose electives for Years 9 and 10. In Year 10, you choose subjects to study for Years 11 and 12. When you start school, you'll receive a timetable. It looks complicated but it actually tells you where you are meant to be and what you are studying at what time. Whatever fun you have in the classroom, there's even more fun going on outside the classroom. Here's what's on offer at our school for extracurricular activities. Here's what happens at lunchtime and recess. Sure to have a great year.